Hello everybody, Dr. F. Scott Field here, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest sponsor. The NPTE Final Frontier is the review course that I wish was around when I took the board exam. For those of you who know my story, it took me a handful of times to pass that exam, and quite frankly, I really wish I had an, a, an exam review course around, uh, just like the NPTE Final Frontier. Uh, check out their website, npteff.com, and use the code HET at checkout for 10% off to all of our listeners and fans. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. This is a Teach Me Something Tuesday episode. Um, I actually had to learn how to be silent. Get it? Awkwardly silent. Um, one of the things that you have to kind of do uh, when teaching is to learn how to ask a question and then sit back and pause and just shut your mouth. And this works well, too, when you're doing motivational interviewing, uh, whether it be for a patient or a student. Um, when you are taking an evaluation and taking the uh, intake information. As clinicians, especially uh, there's been a lot of studies out there on doctors, they tend to interrupt within uh, the first 10 to 15 seconds of a patient talking. I think that's gotten less. I think it's maybe down to eight to 12 now. Um, but yeah, what we need to do is be better active listeners. And we also don't want to force feed or spoon feed the information to the students, right? So you want to ask a question and then wait five to 10 seconds. It's going to be a long, awkward silence. It may feel like nobody's ever going to step up and say something. If you get to that 10 seconds and nobody said something still, try re-asking the question or probably even rephrasing the question a little bit to maybe get the ideas flowing a little, maybe have them think a little bit different direction, and then wait again for another 5 to 10 seconds. It's going to be awkward, it's going to be quiet, and it's going to feel like an eternity. But I promise, if you give it time, eventually somebody will come up with an answer or a statement that works, gets the conversation moving. If not, then it's on you to kind of start, you know, giving some options. Not, I still don't like to give the direct answer at that point. I still give some options for them to think about, maybe break it down and give an easier portion of a question to then build on to eventually get to the point where we are finally getting to the answer that you were looking for. But again, if you just feed it to them, if you ask the question, nobody says anything, and then you feed them the answer, they're really not doing any critical thinking. They're really not having time to process and to let the brains work and, and do their job. Um, so like I said, you really need to learn how to be silent, be quiet, and and Take that awkward silence and use it as time to think and time to reflect and let the brain start working and the gears start turning. So ask a question, wait five to 10 seconds. If nobody answers at the end of that 10 seconds, re-ask it or rephrase it. Wait another five to 10 seconds. Again, the longer you can wait, the better off it's going to be. And eventually somebody will chime in and give you that answer. Because as humans, we don't like that awkward silence. We feel the need to interrupt and say something or, or fill the void or fill the silence. Um, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm a natural talker, right? If you let me, I'll talk forever. Um, but that's not always helpful, especially when it comes to teaching. So utilize si silence. Don't be afraid of it. Lean into it even in when it gets awkward. Again, it's taken me some practice, uh, but I, I'm okay with awkward silence. And I'll, I'll joke around and tell them, hey, we'll sit here until somebody's got something to say, you know, and then eventually somebody will chime in and try to give an answer, you know, and it could be that they're, you know, you have one student that seems to know all the answers and they're kind of sick of giving the answer and don't want to get picked on and don't want to get, you know, called out for it. They might, you know, just want some of the other classmates to have a chance, right? Some of them may feel like they're scared or they don't know the answer, right? And that just takes kind of forming that safe place, that that place to kind of create a safe haven for learning. Uh, so if you do that right from the get-go, awkward silences should come fewer and further in between and be shorter and shorter as well. Because again, what's the worst that happens? You take a stab at it and you get it wrong. 
okay, we say, well, maybe that's not the right way, but what if we thought about this, right? And we re-guide toward the, the correct answer. So use those pauses, use those silences, as awkward as they may be, and lean into them. Hope this helped, and we'll see you on the next Teach Me Something Tuesday.